one of the things I love about Cleveland's offensive playbook is the fact that they have this strong twins flex. It's one of my favorite running formations uh, every year, and uh, this year's no different. So we're going to go over that today. Uh, this is our X-Factor formation for this team. Uh, I think it does a really good job of moving the ball down the field. Really just very simple, simple plays. And uh, the base play I want you to call um, is the halfback off tackle. And here we'll just look at it in a 4-3 set. And um, the base run here is this halfback off tackle. You see you get those double teams on the edges. And with a back like Jamal Charles, it's very hard to stop the run this year. It's just going to it's just gonna good, uh, vote good for you, in my opinion. This uh, playbook, and especially this formation, is just very effective uh, for running the football. The next play I want to go over is the halfback dive. Uh, halfback dive, if you need two yards, call the halfback dive. It's literally a, almost a guaranteed two yards. Uh, here I'm going to show you if they run commit what happens. Um, just to run commit straight down, I'm still going to get two yards. It's like it's almost like a quarterback sneak type of run play uh, with the way the blocking sets up. You're going to go positive if you just trust your blocking. And then if you maybe break it out, one with Jamal Charles. So just a really good offense right there. Uh, the next play I want to look at is the PA fullback flat. And basically we're just going to basically run like um, – uh, a hitch corner concept from last year. Uh, we're going to put Dwayne Bow on a smart routed out route. And our first read on this play is going to be our flat to the right. Here you see it's covered because of cover three coverage. And that's going to allow us to then progress to our next read. A lot of times you'll see you people user, uh, user control the tight ends route. So I make that my last read. Um, my first read on this play is uh, actually going to be the, the drag route to a cluster. And against zone coverage, it does a really good job. Remember, if they don't follow the drags, you can hit them very easily against zone coverage. Just make sure to know when to throw it, and if, they're, if they have quarterback spies or anything on the field, wait for him to pass them. If they do follow the follow the uh, McCluster route, however, that's going to mean they're in a two-man under coverage, which means that Dwayne Bowes route is going to be money uh, against two-man under. Another situation that may come uh, is a cover zero blitz, really trying to sell out to stop this running play. And if that occurs, what I want you to do is, is uh, pass lead or just lob pass that corner route. For some reason, they won't be. It, it's very difficult to intercept that, even if your user are controlling against it. So that's the PA fullback flat. Uh, the next play is the curl flat. And you see we have that really nice angle route on the right side that I love. Uh, so what I like to do is I like to drag my tight end. I like to take Dwayne Bow, and I'll put him on a streak. And then I'll take Jamal Charles and I'll put him on a block and release pattern. Actually, no. I'll take Jamal Charles and I'll wheel him uh, to the right. I'll, I'll, if I can't wheel him to the right, then I'll swing past him to the right. And the first read on this play is if I can maybe hit the, the to Jamal Charles in a flat. A situation where you would want to do this uh, is a situation where they may be blitzing uh, their linebackers or uh, trying to bring pressure off of the, off of the right edge uh, to stop that run. And you see it's just really a, a two-man read between the flat and the angle route, almost working like a levels idea. Okay, so that's that read. Remember, I put McCluster on that out route so that it beats man to man coverage. Um, my second read on this play is going to be Fasano. If they're in zone coverage, it's a really quick read, and it's very simple to beat. And then the last read, uh, remember, uh, the streak read is just kind of to clear space. I don't really throw it to him unless they just blow a coverage. But uh, the, the, the main read is McCluster's route here. Uh, you see it's a later, it's a later out route. It's going to break later. But you see how effective it is. Still very effective uh, against man-to-man -man coverage. And then the last play I want to go over today is the hitch corners. And what I like to do with this is I like to put McCluster on a uh, smoke screen. And I like to put Richard Sherman on a streak. My first read on this play is going to be the smoke screen. Typically, it won't ever be open. But it's one of those things, like if it's open, you hit it and you hit it and you hit it and you hit it until they make you... Because what's going to happen is a lot of people who run cover threes, they'll put um, they'll put the, the flat zones in purple zones. Everyone really likes purple zones this year. Well, in my opinion, if you want to continue to put purple zones out on the field, I'm going to continue to roast you and roast you and roast you with smoke screens to Dexter McCluster. He's a very good guy who can get the ball out in the field in open space, does a very good job of uh, really selling that uh, hitch corner, in my opinion. I really like the way that the route combination works um, as I throw the controller on the ground. Grab it real quick. But when they put purple zones out there, um, he'll be covered, or he won't be covered. He'll be open. 
if they don't put purple zones out there, they're in a regular cover three, what's going to happen is uh, B is going to get open to the outside. And that's what I really like about this formation is if they're, it's going to beat all the basic coverages. It's just a basic uh, hitch corner route that everyone does this year, uh, but it's very effective when combined with all the running stuff that we do from this formation. Here's uh, cover two sink, and you see we can just pass through that to the left, and it's wide open. If they aren't two men under, uh, and for some freakishly reason are able to stop your corner route, um, look no further than uh, A on that deep post. Pass it down to the inside and click on and make a user catch. Even Anthony Fasano can beat a linebacker, and it's going to be very effective. In our last read, just if something, everything goes wrong, we can easily just check down to that little uh, underneath hitch uh, option route to the running back. Real quickly, if they are uh, cover zero blitzing you, uh, you can actually hit this uh, route to Charles right out of the backfield and it just crushes uh, any cover zero blitzes. So just add that to your arsenal guys. This is a really good play. Remember that mixing the halfback dive, the, the main thing from this formation guys is the running. It's obviously a running formation. You can typically sometimes from time to time come out in the counter weak. You can actually playmaker that halfback off tackle run to the left and then you can it's basically just like a stretch at that point. Um, so just be sure to mix in all the different types of runs. Uh, be sure to sometimes motion the cluster to the right side of the screen. Uh, you see it's going to create a little tight set over there on the right. It's going to make them think you're throwing, but in reality you're running. It just throws them off guard, in my opinion. It, it's just always, it, it just gives them another look, uh, something they have to account for, and it's just something to take away their attention from the run. So thanks for watching today, guys. I hope this uh, little mini scheme helps you use X-Factor formation. And uh, be sure to let me know if you guys have anything else you need to have broken down. I really appreciate the time and effort you guys put into watching these videos. It uh, makes me want to just continue to make them. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you like my tips. And if you need any help with any specific thing, let me know in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Have a great day, guys. I hope you're enjoying this offense.